go to breakfast. Shayo. Dad. Shayo. To go bow for the result. Nothing to discuss. Cause I think we need by the fault. I'm without any doubt. I'm a me happy adult. I'm not gonna feed the cut. I'm not gonna feed the cut. I'm not gonna Welcome back to the Cryptic Conjo's channel. So today we are on the road. We're having a little bit of a road trip because we're going to collect some newly imported fresh blood chondros. So this locality, there isn't much of it around in the UK that I've seen so far. Well, it might be in collections, but they're being held, held quite privately. So we're going to go collect them. We're going to go collect two of them. So this is a pair, um, which you'll see later on in the video. And then we're also going to be dropping off a few gifts today. So one is the new Cryptic Chondros t-shirts that I've just had made. These are not for sale, but they may be available soon. I've just had a few printed as gifts to give out to some friends. But if you are interested, hit me up, go on my Instagram, send me a message. They, might, they may be available soon. We're also going to drop off some of my own productions. So these are some pieds and some OD pieds that I produced this year. Uh, they'll be being dropped off to Malcolm. There is eight in total um, and we are going to give them to him to have for the moment so make sure you like comment subscribe get locked in tune in all the way to the end of the video it's going to be a banger the animals are beautiful let's go right guys so we arrived at crystal palace reptiles as you can see we've got malcolm back with me so in the last video he was discussing how he'd been out of the conjo game for a little while and all of a sudden you're back in the conjo game again which i'm ecstatic about so what's happened i've just made a mistake and he's it's, back um yeah so no it's just it's a locality pair in wild court so yeah. we'll no designer nope we'll see where they go yeah so we'll just document all of it and then uh, so that's that's the thing me and malcolm are gonna do we're gonna document this whole wild caught journey yep. it's, it's going to be over the series of a year you're going to see videos pop up, up with us showing the trials yeah, yeah. and the tribulations all of this way. whole thing so that'd be a mini docu-series that i'm going to do with Malk. so it'd be nice to, for me to learn and other people to learn from it um so in here we've got a super strap maruk yeah so it's a super strap maruk so is the other one that we're going to go collect but first up is crystal palace let's get in there let's see a snake and let's collect well, that's it let's go Right guys, so as you can see before, we've done a little clip, you can see the shop. Um, so to Darren, you know, he's, he, he mentioned that the imports and exports are a lot slower now, a lot more difficult coming here. Um, it was quite busy in there, so we didn't shoot yeah. an in-depth reptile shop tour as it is for the first pit stop. Um, but we collected, well you, well I say we, but we're together, but you collected the Super Stripe Maroc. Yeah, that's the male. Next so, shop. next shop is going to be another Super Stripe Maroc. Yes. 
Lovely, so that's gonna be a female and then you've got 1.1. Yep. So, you know, it's, as you can see, Crystal Palace has been around for a long, long time. Um, yeah. Has been one of the shops yeah. in the UK for a long, long time, many, many years. Yeah. Um, we've done a brief little tour, but keep tight. The next one will be a full shop tour and see what you can see in there and meet the owners and pick up your next snake. Uh, I've got a few bits as promised earlier to give to Malk. So one is you can raise the flag for the cryptic chondros this in the west it. of England. Yes. So that's yours, mate. Thanks very much. Thank you. And so I'll just stand it like that. <laughs> and oh, hold it. The OD pads, pad, that was an OD pad, pad slash something else, secretive pairing. Secretive. So these are going to go to Malcolm's because, to be totally honest with you, Malcolm's got a huge room. And if you haven't seen his room, go check the, the, the collection tour that we done two videos ago. Um, but I'm running out of space because there's certain things going on my end that yeah. you will all find out very, very soon. Um, not long. Not, yeah. I need the space. Malcolm's <laughs> got the space so we can carry on with our projects. But at the same time, I've got space for what's yeah. coming. So. We'll end this here and we're going to go to the next shop. Uh, catch us in a moment. Power f the power of editing. We'll see us at the next <laughs> stop. Let's go. So you want some babies off these then? Hello, mate. You're right. Very good. Thank you very much. She's Baden, the owner of Sliver Reptiles. Welcome. Let's have a look around and see what they've got. Just. Off a first perspective, guys, the shop is absolutely beautiful. Um, I have had a cheeky peek look around already. Wait till we get over there, especially. But the shop is phenomenal. As you can see, Mr. Dix is here. Shop two. Shop two. Right, let's have a look around. Want to go over here? All right. Nice little yellow crested Jacksons. Little envelope back there. I love the setups. They're looking nice, they look actually. Nice, I want to go and play with the. They look. They look really, really smart. Play with the empty ones upstairs, right? Yeah, they they, they look smart. So as we go around, guys, you can see there was a bank of wooden vivariums. Got some albino anaconda hog face. Hog no um, hog face, albino anaconda hog noses and some other different hog nose morphs in there. And some king snakes up there. We've got a black tree monitor in here. We've got some little green tree green trees in here. A little yellow biak and I believe there's a red in there as well which we can't see because it's quite dark great selection of dry goods as you can see there's live food all your cleaning products all the dry goods you might need um, a great variety it's absolutely stunning and clean and beautiful in here. Definitely sets the bar. What have you seen, Mark? Three more. Should I go over here and have a look? Yeah. Right. To, uh... so as we go around here, if we start at the top, you've got some bearded dragons. And these are stunning. So you've got a black dragon water monitors. Black dragons are absolutely phenomenal. Can't really see it from the condensation, but they're Come phenomenal. Hmm? They're amazing. If we come around, so you've got a bowl, a bowlings here. Phenomenal. I can see that it's owned by Baden. 
not surprised. It's beautiful. Hopefully we can have a closer look at that after. Special offer this weekend. Yeah, special <laughs> offer. <laughs> Got some sulfur water monitors in here, which you can't see at the moment. I can't spot them. It's all breakfast time. They've just opened, everyone's being fed some little baby tortoises. Put the inverts. Then we've got another black dragon down here. Again, phenomenal animals. Have a little pamper up here. Have to go around. A rack up here. <laughs> Rubber snake. I like that, it's quite quirky. Oh, Angolians. Angolians. And then we go into their bioactive room slash dry goods section. Guys, just look at that. Just from here, wait till I get closer, but honestly, it's phenomenal. So you got dry goods here, you know, for all your decorative needs. Some yellow and black poison darts. Again, phenomenal. And you've got the black leg goldens. Madagascan giant day gecko in here, but it's just a point of spotting it. But as you can see, that is the entrance back into that room. It's beautiful. Nice bits of wood here, man, aren't they? Yeah, there are for perches as well. So yeah, yeah, as you can see, like these, these kind of perches would be ideal for chondro green tree. They're good quality pieces too. Yeah, they're really good. Sometimes you do get bits that you can see elsewhere, they know you get them and they might be, you know, wood is wood is natural, but sometimes it just doesn't work. But even a piece like that for like a juvenile yearling would be something. Normally you get them in short pieces, don't you? Yeah. They're just never long enough. Right guys, so we're going to, I'm going over into here while Malcolm is trailing from behind, looking for some decorative pieces for his new snake that he's going to collect today from here. So as you saw earlier, yes, um, this world, this is day two. So yes, we did say we were <laughs> going to do it yesterday, but we just didn't make it in time. So we're day we're two here. and we're collection number two. As you can see, it is phenomenal in here. So let's have a look around and see what they've got before we speak to Baden and get a few bits and pieces out because uh, we discussed some of the species that he keeps and he has and some special items. And we can have another look round. So, a bit of live plants. We've got some vivariums here that I believe they're pre-set up. I have to say walking around the atmosphere in here is just lovely. Um, so, as you can see, you know, like your misting systems, live plants, moss, Everything you probably need bioactive, I guess that's why it's called the bioactive room. Before we get to the enclosure, so let's have a look over here. There is a quite big enclosure here. So again, we're at slivering, slivering reptiles. And got a lovely retic mainland, I believe. Um, in this setup, um, Humongous enclosure, as you can see, it's got its own door. 
over there it goes in deeper there's a pond in the corner it's absolutely phenomenal have a look around so start from here work our way around I don't know if some of these enclosures may not have anything in all of them So we've got some Vietnamese mossy frogs in this one down here. Let's see if I can spot one first of all. Show you guys. My eyesight isn't the best. But let's see if you guys will spot one. But the setups are beautiful. Very well maintained, aren't they? Very well maintained, yep. I got here a little bit earlier and they were cleaning glass and doing maintenance. So yeah, um, tokay geckos, gargoyles. You know, the beauty of these enclosures is the animals you may not spot in these videos, but these are the true beauties, not just in the animal, but in the enclosures that they're being kept in. And it's... It's got things like Borneo, cat eye geckos. Yellow sided reticulated gargoyle gecko in here in some location. There we go, look, spotted something. There we go. <laughs> and then you've got more like an arid area, which is lovely. These setups are beautiful. So, let's go and grab Baden, see if he's free, and see if we can get some bits and pieces out. Right guys, so, welcome to Slivering Reptiles. We are here with Baden, the owner of Slivering Reptiles, LA. As you can see previously in a clip before, you would have seen the tour, and just a brief walk around in the shop and some of the species that they've got here. Um, tell us a bit about you, a bit about the shop, how it came along. Yeah, so as mentioned, I'm, I'm Baden, uh, Manager Director of Slivering Reptiles. I've actually been doing this since a kid, so, 24 now, set the company up when I was 16. I got that wow. as a birthday present and a little limited company certificate, which yeah. is quite cool. So it always just kind of followed suit to where we are now. Um, so the room that we're in now is our new bioactive room. Uh, we set this up in March. It's been an extremely, well, painstaking process to get this room to exactly where it is. Um, so yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. Uh, but we have a lot of different species and stuff here. Uh, we cater from anything from um, from corn snakes for, for beginners all the way up to green tree pythons, as you most yeah. likely Bo love. Bowlings that you've Bones, got. Pythons that you've, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're all sorts of stuff. The black dragons, which I haven't seen, and the first time seeing them, and they have to get some content of them. They are so phenomenal. Cool. So hopefully, yeah, we can get a little bit of content of them, yeah, but man. they're phenomenal. Um, so where are you guys based located if so anyone wants to come and visit? We're based in Colville, Leicestershire. And if anyone wants the full address, it's the Springboard Business Centre, Mantle Lane, Colville, Leicestershire. And the postcode is LE673DW. And guys, honestly, you will not be... You, this will meet every expectation you have coming here. It has blown my mind. It's one of the best shops I've been to in many years. Thank you. Um, so congratulations, mate. You've got a stunning shop. Thank you very much. Um, so make sure you come and ch check them out and let's go and see some animals. Yeah, we're open seven days a week too. There you go. Come see us. Yeah, you just watch it with the plant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, she's big. Own a big snake, it's fun, they say. Oh. And let someone get that in there. Yeah. <laughs> right. How big is she then? 17 and a half foot. And you say she's puppy dog tame, yeah? Exactly. As lively as a corn snake though. Very lively. When they're this big, you really feel the strength and the weight. It's <laughs> ridiculous. As you can see guys, look all the way from there to here. Yeah, when she stretches out, she literally goes from that side to that side. Okay, just get her back. Should we, uh... Should we get it back in? Yeah, we back in. Put back in? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's get her back in. 
Glad you can see how big she is and how heavy she is. And the sweat on my head. It's quite it's a workout, isn't it? Mr. God, that is heavy. All right, guys, so we're here at the Bowlins yes. enclosure. And yes, this so is your personal. Yeah, my Bowlins python. Um, been a dream snake of mine, as with many other um, avid reptile keepers. Um, dream to have a Bowlins python inside of their collection. And um, lucky enough, uh, we was able to get three Bowlins pythons and I decided to keep her. So I'm very, very pleased now. Um, she was actually really, really red. Um, yep. yeah, she's only just um, color change. only just really color changed over the, her last two sheds, really. Um, so she's um, phenomenal. Her white bands and stuff for a Bowlins python are really kind of quite large, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, but she's super pretty. She eats like an absolute champion as well. So, which was also, everyone quite worries quite a bit, when especially when they get little Bolans that they're yep. not going to eat yep. as well. Um, but we got her as quite a large Bolans python when we got her over. Um, but yeah, she's just a little baby. You can see as well how the iridescence is starting to come through. Yes, in fact, that's only really started coming through over, yep. over the last few kind of sheds and stuff. But yep. because we have a 2.4% shade dweller unit up here yep. you literally just purchase her entire body up on this branch all the all day yep. and she'll just sit there and bask completely under there and she looks phenomenal to be fair she was kept upstairs up in my office but now she's down here so yep. everyone can enjoy her for a little bit until she outgrows this enclosure which won't be too soon because no. she's growing like a weed you know i love about these as well in the wild how they use their head to bask um yeah, phenomenal yeah no, because they're so so black as well, like any kind of area they have their tail sticking out or whatever, yep. they're still going to be absorbing yep. that kind of UVB. So they do naturally come from the cooler area. Cool yeah, areas. they do from yep. the Clown Mountains of Papua yep, New Guinea. Exactly. She is phenomenal. Um, definitely on my, on my uh, bucket list. Yeah. For a species to own. Best hopefully, so in awesome. the, hopefully in the next couple of years. Yeah, so definitely. Let's keep an eye and see if you get them in. Uh, again, but I reckon this would be something just as a pet, not multiples, just one as a pet. Um, I, I need another one now. Obviously, I've got a female. Got, so yeah, we've got so to get another one. A male. Just right. to see. What, what? Yeah, why not? If you, if you, yeah, well, just, just try. I just don't think you can have one Bowlands yeah. python. Oh, that's right. phenomenal. Thank you for letting me there get this one little one out. So this is a viper boa. Yeah. I haven't seen one before in that's person. Awesome. <laughs> wow. I'll a pair of them tomorrow. If I had a pair. They are fabulous that creatures. Phenomenal. And it I eats it. perfectly, mm -hmm. which is great. Tricked that though, bigger water bowl. That's all it was. Bigger water bowl, literally yeah. just splash a splash, literally a small mouse. Um, to be fair, I've got three more of these coming. And it's, its tail is ridiculous. I'm just gonna bite me because it can be a dick. <laughs> it's just their saddle patterns on it, to be fair yeah. for me. That is the main feature with these. Yeah, that's what I mean. Breed is a lot. Right, guys, so we have a Malk at the counter, but he's hiding his wallet because he doesn't want Lisa to see. So right. I'm still looking at that Evo Collecting 3 over there. Think Let's see what he's like collecting that. today, guys. So this is your full strike slash super God, stripe Maroc female. Which one, the two or the three? Look at that line. Look at that pattern. Yeah, 180. Absolutely phenomenal. Right, guys, so we've come to the end of the shop tour. I want to say a big thank you for Baden for yeah, having me. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. Your shop day. is a beautiful shop. Thank you. We had a good talk off the camera as well. Brilliant. I would definitely be seeing you again. Make sure you come and check the shop out, Slivering Reptiles. Come in, have a look around. You won't be disappointed. It's a beautiful shop. Thank you again. It's okay. And hopefully, we might be coming back part two post import. Yes. And yeah, we'll get some nice, cool snakes in. Picking up some bits and pieces. 100%. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. it. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, so we've come outside. And we're out of there. As you can see, the tour was absolutely amazing. Um, what I'm going to do now is me and Malcolm are going to go our separate ways because he's got hours to go one way and I've got hours to go the other way. So now Malcolm's going to get home, get them into their vivs and send me some clips. And we're going to attach them next for you guys to see what they're like going into their enclosures and what their enclosures look like. Okay. All right. So here we are back after probably nearly 400 miles of driving. Um, it feels like about 10 hours in a car. We've now picked up the female from Slytherin, which she's stunning. Absolutely superb. 
little bit cold. But bless her, she just wants to go in now and settle down. Hopefully, she can get in. Find a perch. Right guys, so it's been an epic couple of days, spending the two days and a weekend with Malcolm. We've gone and picked up one super stripe or full stripe Maroc from Crystal Palace. And then we came and had a shop tour and collected a super stripe, full stripe Maroc from Slytherin Reptiles. So it was absolutely beautiful in that shop. Um, you know, met Baden, Baden was very welcoming. The whole team was absolutely great. I want to say a big thank you again for having us today. Um, the shop was beautiful, the animals are beautiful. We spoke off camera, he's going to have plenty amazing animals coming in very very soon so we're going to come back and check those out again make sure to stay tuned the next video and next series of videos will be from america we'll be traveling to the us to go to the narbc in arlington to go meet bill stiegel shoot his collection see some amazing condros um alex warren i'm gonna go see his collection and spend a good few days out of there so it'll be some vlog material content there as well so it's gonna be absolutely absolutely amazing and i can't wait to go there so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned in. We've got epic content coming out. Thank you for watching. Yeah.